Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to do a physics lesson here. The x-rays. Therefore, we are told that the figure below shows an x-ray tube. And we can see it. There is an x-ray tube. We have uh, x-rays being produced. We have uh, evacuated glass tube. Low voltage. Either alternating current or the direct current. We have uh, extra high tension. Then uh, the questions are as follows. We are told in the first case to label the part labeled or the part marked Y. So the part marked Y is the cooling copper fins. Cooling copper fins. So those are cooling fins. They ensure that uh, cooling happens in the anode because at the anode a lot of energy is converted to heat. Therefore, the copper fins will help in the cooling of the system here. How would one increase, part one, the intensity of the x-rays? Intensity of x-rays is the number of x-rays, uh, the number of x-rays, the much they will get produced. And that is done by increasing, hmm, increasing the current. Remember, we have a resistor here. And an ammeter here where current is getting uh, detected. Therefore, we can regulate current by increasing it. And when current is increased, so we are saying current in the cathode. So when the cathode current is increased, we will have a lot of eating effect taking place. And thermionic emission will be effective. And it will be high. Therefore, a lot of electrons will get emitted from the cathode and X-rays will be produced in a large number. Part 2, penetrating power of the X-rays. This could have also asked the energy content of the X-rays being produced. And this is, this is a varied by increasing, 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 the potential difference the potential difference between the anode and the cathode between the anode and the cathode therefore the potential difference between anode and cathode dictates how the electrons will get accelerated remember when uh, we have a potential difference between cathode and anode because the anode is connected to the positive terminal of the extra high tension and electrons are negatively charged being produced at the cathode then they will be highly attracted by the positive anode and their power will be high the penetration power because they will be possessing a lot of energy explain why the tube is highly evacuated to evacuate it to ensure that in the glass tube, it's a vacuum. So this vacuum is to ensure that the X-rays, okay, the, the electrons along their path, they don't interact with air particles and therefore they are able to reach the target having maximum energy. Therefore, it is to ensure that energy content of the electrons is not reduced because if it is not evacuated, then energy will be lost through interaction with air particles because there will be some ionization taking place and we know very well ionization requires energy. We have part D, an X-ray tube operating with an anode potential of 10 kilovolts and current 15 milliamperes. Potential difference 10 kilovolts current 15 milliamperes calculate the number of electrons hitting the anode per second so what you should uh, know is that uh, for this question we have also been given some constants here that a charge in an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 this is the uh, coulombs then mass of an electron is one is 9.1 .1 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms therefore to calculate the number of electrons hitting the anode we are going to first of all get the charge total charge 
in this uh, x-ray tube because the charge is given by it remember we want per second therefore we are going to use the current which is a uh, 15 milliamperes so we divide by a thousand to get amperes times one second therefore we're going to have 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative three coulombs this is the total charge in that uh, tube therefore this is the total charge because we have uh, multiplied the current and the time we want per second so in one second 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative three coulombs and the one electron is having a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs what about 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 coulombs how many electrons are totaling to this amount of to this amount of charge therefore it will be 1.5 times 10 power negative 3 out of 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 and this is going to give us 9.4 9.4 times 10 to the power of 16 electrons when we solve so these are the number of electrons we first get the total charge and because we have charge per electron then we can get the number of electrons amounting to that charge lastly we have uh, determined the speed with which the electrons hit the target. Therefore, the speed is going to be determined when we first know the energy in, a, in the X-rays produced. Therefore, we should know that um, energy in the X-rays is given by electron charge times V. And the same, same energy is also calculated by, because the energy is a kinetic half, times mass of an electron times the velocity squared the velocity within which or with which the electrons will move it therefore the energies are equal so ev equals to half mass of an electron velocity squared therefore velocity squared will be equal to ev times 2 divided by mass of an electron and now that we want v the velocity now we need to, to take the square root of this side, mass of an electron. Remember to subscribe to the channel and share the link as we continue studying together. Therefore, 2 times 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 multiplied by the voltage, which is 10. Remember, this is voltage and this is velocity. Therefore, we have uh, 10 kilovolts. So 10 times a thousand, so that we may get volts. Then now we are going to divide this with mass of an electron, 9.1 times 10 to the power of negative 31. Then now we obtain the square root of this. And the answer is going to be 5.93 times 10 raised to the power of 7 meters per second. So this is the velocity with which the emitted or the produced x-rays, the emitted electrons will eat the target with.